everyone, Mike, and I'm back with my 1977 Chevrolet Corvette, and today we are going to install the 1979 HD cooling extension for the air dam. So, many of you will not have heard of it, but on the 1979 Corvette, there was an option for the air conditioning called HD cooling. Part of that was an extension flap on the two inch air dam that is below. And you also got a little electric fan in addition to the mechanical fan. Uh, the radiator was a little bit beefier as well. But that doesn't mean we can't add the extension on my 1977 here and from experience uh, out there that I've already heard, it makes a huge difference in cooling on the highway. But part of this video is the install. The other part of this video is, does it really make a difference? I'll share a photo of the temperature prior, and then we're gonna actually take a picture of that same highway temp at 75 miles an hour or that same uh, miles per hour at highway speed um, 75 and see if the temps are lower. It's about right now 90 degrees on average here in Jacksonville, Florida. All right, let's get to it. All right, things that you'll need is the air dam itself. It's made of a very tough and durable rubber here. As you can tell, it's got a core uh, believe it's made of copper um, however it's still malleable uh, this is the original replicate of the 79 air dam extension and it'll give about five inches it mounts right to the air dam itself and allows greater airflow up into the radiator condenser trans cooler the whole works so you'll need that you also need a drill for the holes and instead of rivets which originally were placed on this I'm going to use stainless steel nuts and bolts um, yeah it's my choice all right so then you're gonna need uh, if, you, if you choose to do it this way, I chose 7 sixteenths uh, for the nuts. All right, so let's get to it. Boom. Less than 10 minutes, the extension is on. Now, some of you might be thinking you can just make your own out of aluminum or whatever, and it'll look better, and uh, that's great and all. But the issue here is that this has to have some flex to it. If there's road debris, if you uh, if you scrape going over something, you don't want to damage your extension. So this extension, the old, uh, the original air dam was only down here is about two inches. This new one is five inches. It makes a significant difference from what the online posts say about and the GM research with the air going up into the radiator. So we are going to test that out because I'm running about 205, which is not bad on the highway, but I'd love to keep it at 200 and keep my fans down on their operating time. Cool. Let's get to it. 